Well, back to the big news of the day. FBI Director James Comey under attack by Democrats and even some Republicans, quite frankly, over his decision to inform Congress that the Bureau would examine some new emails found on a laptop belonging to Hillary Clinton's top aides. This is just 11 days before the election, and here we are now a week out. They argued, his critics, that Comey's move has the potential to impact the outcome of the election because he failed to provide any additional details. Oklahoma Senator James Lankford, as a member of the Senate Homeland Security Committee and the Intelligence Committee, he's calling for Hillary Clinton's security clearance to be revoked. Uh, Senator, it's nice to have you on the program. Do you have any response to that request as of yet? I have not had any response to that request yet, but it should be a basic request uh, for Cheryl Mills, for Huma Abedin, especially her staff around her. That's standard practice. If there's an investigation that's ongoing, they set aside the security clearance of those individuals. I'm just asking for people to be treated the same as they would for every other American. What is your greatest concern? Well, my greatest concern is just the flipping way that this information has been handled. Uh, the FBI is in a completely untenable situation uh, that they're having to manage what's happening in an election. But Director Comey did not cause this. Uh, this was caused by a, a secure server that should have been secure uh, was actually put in Hillary Clinton's home and was managed in a way that clearly made it open to our enemies. I mean, even the WikiLeaks, uh, things that are, the Democrats are currently fighting nationwide right now and all the leaks coming out of the Clinton administration show People from outside of the country can reach into these individual servers. And for her to be able to put that server in that spot, put Director Comey in a very bad place. All that, all that to say, it was clear that uh, Hillary Clinton put her political security above national security. And I'm just trying to confront the basic facts. If documents are not handled correctly among staff or among Hillary Clinton herself, we need to make sure that classified documents are handled correctly. And we know that you also uh, attend classified briefings. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Some of the members on your committee, uh, Democrats like uh, Senator Dianne, Dianne Feinstein, uh, in her words, she says she's appalled by James Comey's actions. Brett Stevens, a conservative that writes for the Wall Street Journal, who now says he's actually voting for Hillary Clinton, wants James Comey to resign. We're hearing that from conservatives, from Republicans. What's your response to those Republicans? Again, James Comey is put in a horrible situation. He didn't create the situation. Uh, Hillary Clinton created the situation by creating this private server and to be able to put everyone in this untenable spot. The, the previous investigation that they had said was closed uh, was all based around speed. Uh, now you've got additional evidence that I'm, I'm curious about trying to figure out why we have additional evidence. That seems to be Huma Abedin's personal computer that was relating business documents and that was back and forth with the Clinton server as well. My question is why wasn't that already a part of the evidence? It seems that the fence that the um, FBI put or the Department of Justice put around the FBI to say you can only investigate these things was so narrow that they weren't getting all the evidence. It is a basic thing that if Huma Abedin is interacting on this private server, her computer, even her shared computer with her husband, should have been a part of this investigation. And why it wasn't a part of the investigation in the first place either begs the question of why the Department of Justice put the boundaries so clear or why the FBI was in such a hurry they didn't take this in. But this clearly should have been a part of the investigation from the beginning and makes me ask what else has been missed. And what actions could you take with those additional questions that you don't have answers for? As a senator, what's your next step? You know, my next step is just to make sure they actually do a thorough investigation. They spent almost four years investigating General James Cartwright for violations he had over classified information. And he was just confirming to a journalist what was already known by the journalist. He's now facing felony prosecution uh, for having a, a conversation with someone about information that was classified. That was a four-year investigation to get it all out. The FBI clearly did a very fast, very rapid look at the case, then close it as fast as possible, not a thorough case as they did with General Cartwright. And so my main question is, if we're going to do this, we should treat every person exactly the same in America, regardless of who your last name is. There's a big question about how to enforce that quickly. Only about 30 seconds. Senator, a broad question. Are we all weaker because of this? You have the Department of Justice, the FBI under fire. They're there to protect all of us. I just wonder what that means for everyone, our country. It, it's a loss of trust is what it means. It's not only a loss of trust among Americans for institutions like the FBI that have been nonpartisan, that have a lot of great career professionals that are there. This gives the appearance of being partisan in the process. Uh, so that makes us weaker, but it also makes us weaker around the world. Uh, Hillary Clinton and her, her team left documents in a hotel room in Russia that was classified, left documents unsecured in a hotel room in China that was, that was classified, left documents in a car in India. All those things are 
critical mistakes to deal with classified information. It only weakens trust here. It weakens uh, our ability to be able to handle classified information to the individuals and the entities around the world well, that mean to do us harm. And of course, the Clinton team uh, and some investigations have pushed back on, on the, the leaving of classified information at, at some of these sites. We don't have time to get into that now, Senator Langford, but your, your broader point is taken, and we look forward to having you back on the program. Thank you. Thank you.